This HAN Network video is brought to you by Manfredi Jewelers. On the campus of St. Joseph's High School, this is the HAN Network's 2016 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Ernino. I am joined with the coach and one of the members of the bowling team here for the cadets. They are Sal Oros and Coach Jeannie Lee. Sal, only a freshman on the team. You get ready for your first varsity season. What does that feel like for you? It's amazing to be part of this great program. I mean, we have, we've had so much success, three state championships, and I'm only hoping to add to that and take us even further than we've been before. Coach, a bit of a younger team you were telling us this year. What's that experience going to be like coming off another good showing in states last season? Well, you know, it's, it's really a lot of giving the kids confidence to do their best and not get upset if they have a bad game. And I've always felt that that was why we're so successful is because the kids support each other. We act as a family. We are a family. And, you know, again, the, the important thing is just confidence. Sal, tell us a little bit about what your youth bowling career was like, how you've been getting ready, and where you've been competing leading up to high school. It's been uh, very fun. I've uh, been bowling at Nutmeg Bowl like we do for league. Uh, just tournaments, league on Saturdays, just coaching, just trying to get better every day, and trying to hone my shot and try to get better every day as much as I can. Coach, what are some of the teams, or who, excuse me, who are some of the teams you're really excited to compete with this year? What are some of the matches we should keep an eye out for? Fairfield. They're, they won states last year, and they're a great team. They're an older team. They've got a bunch of, of seniors and juniors, so it's a little hard when I have a lot of freshmen on my team. But um, And then um, Platt Tech is a great team. Really, our program has a lot of really good bowlers. I have to tell you, you know, I, I, I probably the, uh, all the other teams we have to worry about. Sal, in your first season, what would you like to accomplish as an individual, and how can you help contribute to this roster early on in your career? i definitely like to just take home another state championship. That That's just a dream of mine. But I just like to help the team as much as I can, try to just bowl as best as I can every night, try to achieve those high scores and help the team succeed. Coach, what is it about this year's team that's going to make this a special group compared to the cadets teams in the past? You know, that's that's really hard to answer because I love all the kids that have come through my program. They've all been special. You know, we, we truly are a family. So this team is young. I'm watching the kids develop. Their games get better every single week. They, they're bonding more. I mean, I think that that's so much fun to see them supporting each other and laughing and high-fiving. So probably maybe a little bit on the development stage, but all, all the kids have just been so special. Well, we want to thank both of you for coming and talking with us today. We want to wish you the best of luck this season and hopefully no 7-10 splits for you this year. <laughs> Alongside the coach and Sal from the Cadets Bowling Team, this is the HAN Network's 2016 Winter Sports Tour. Stay tuned as we continue to roll along through the rest of the conference.